what's up rabbits and today i'm giving you very much raw and as you guys can tell by the thumbnail this is going to be a very beautiful transformation we have our beautiful model here today she was first a client but i said girl you're gonna have to come back because raw babes will love you okay so i remember i told y'all the content is gonna come back and back because the holidays are coming i miss you guys so much i've been missing for a while and we're just gonna enjoy this moment so y'all get your pencils and your paper ready play some music in your background if you want to we're gonna get into some beautiful makeup so off camera i cleanse her skin with noxzema wipes if you guys want to know the exact noxzema wipes i get i get it from walgreens or cvs or also walmart it helps to avoid any breakouts and just to cleanse the base before we start then i went in with the air sponge translucent powder i'm just gonna go in and set those eyebrows just so it can be long lasting and also easy for me to fill in the brows to fill in the brows today we're going in with the chocolate mousse eyebrow pencil from morphe which is one of my favorites right now and we're just gonna go right in and fill those eyebrows in So after filling in the brows, it's time to lay those brows down. Now we'll be going in with the Anastasia Brow Gel, which is one of my favorites right now. So it's either that or the Dual Lash Glue. If y'all already know, the OG Raw Babes, I used to always love my Dual Lash Glue, but I try to switch it up a little bit more. So I go back and forth from Dual Lash Glue to the Dip Brow, which will give you the same luminous finish, long lasting brows and lay down those hairs. Okay, to shape out her brows, you'll be going in with a concealer shade that's at least two shades lighter than your original skin tone. Today, we'll be using an Elf Camo Concealer and the shade Deep Olive. To shape out the top of her brows, we're going in with her original skin tone foundation. And also, as you guys can see, for each eyebrow, I'm going in to blend out that concealer that we use, only because Elf Camo Concealer is a little bit drying, so you have to move a little bit faster with blending.
after blending out that concealer on those lids, make sure your concealer is full coverage just so it can pop for during your shadows. Now it's time to set that concealer. You'll be going in with the Air Sponge Translucent Powder. Remember you guys, I only use this powder for the eyes. I would never do it for the face. It gives off a very ghost-like look, so only use this to set certain areas. So to set the lids, it will avoid any creasing when it comes to the shadows. A lot of you guys ask me, Lachey, how do you get your browns to pop up so well? The first step is make sure you have the perfect tone of brown that's desired for that skin tone that will pop. Number two, make sure you scrub that pan, meaning make sure you get as much as product you can onto that brush. Then you'll begin to dust off that brush on any side of the palette, you know, just to knock off any fallout. And then you'll go straight in onto her lid in the crease and you'll do patting motions. When you are patting, that helps bring up the pigment to your desired look. Then for the edges, you'll be blending in circular motions just to make it look gradient and just to make it look all blended well. So today, the eyeshadow we went in with was the Morphe Bronzer in the shade Supreme. A lot of these palettes that you guys will see today, you'll see the colors popping up. And y'all, that means Lachey loves these palettes, okay? If you see that these palettes is almost through, these are my favorites. So today I was in the mood for a soft, natural eye. So now we're gonna go on with some mattes. I know a lot of people do um, soft cut creases different. You guys go on with concealer, you do all them extra steps, but you wouldn't have to do those steps if you just stay in place. So as you guys can see, the brown was in one place and I kept it in that crease. And I made sure I left that center of her eyelids open just so I can be prepared for my second shade. So the second shade we went in with was from the new Precision Palette by Makeup by Melissa. I will make sure I put that down in my description box below so you guys can go get that, which is one of my favorites. So I'm going with these new shades and I'm just patting those mattes and it's giving a very gradient look. It's just real simple. Just get as much as pigment as you can on that brush and just pat it in those lids.
The liner we'll be going in with today is the liquid liner from Elf Cosmetics in the shade Jet Black. So I'm gonna show you guys how to map out your liners. So the first step is tracing. That's the whole thing with doing eyeliner is tracing and taking your time and also focus. So first, as you guys can see, I'm drawing a line just to see what is the height of the liner. Some people liners are thin. Some people wanna do the thick liner like Nicki Minaj. So it's different heights of liners. So as you guys can see, I'm stopping at the edge of her eye just because I wanna just focus on one section first. And then we can worry about and connect the end of the liner further. So then I will I will turn her head to the opposite side. And you'll be doing a sideways triangle, similar to like an upside down triangle. And first I will do that first line of how long I want it to be. And I will be doing that in a slanted motion. And then I will connect that and then just fill in simply. So sometimes when it comes to liner, it takes a while. When I was the beginner, my hands was too shaky to even focus on a liner. But the more that you do it, the more that you challenge yourself, you will kill liners. Now, making sure that I made my eyeliner precise and sharp how I would like it, I will go in with a matte black. You can get a matte black from any palette that you have. So I'll be going in with an angle brush just so I won't get the black in any other areas, only the black liner. So a lot of you guys probably first time seeing this or you already know, but I like to set my eyeliners because I feel like it will give more of a matte, long lasting, and also it will make the look pop. I love the depth and the contrast of that black and it honestly sets your liners. Now, when it comes to setting the liners, the reason for that being is to avoid any transfer over to the other shadows. So say for instance, when she opened her eyes and it's still wet liner, well what happened is all that black liner will go onto all that beautiful eyeshadow that we just killed. So in order to avoid that, you have to set your eyeliners. Now that the eyeliner is complete, now it's time to go in with your flat brush and your foundation or concealer, and then just clean up the edges of your liners, just so it can look more precise, and also just so it can pop.
for the skin today, we'll be going up with the Secure the Sweat One Size Primer. And then we'll also be going in with the Elf Primer, which is my favorite duo right now. And then now we'll be going in with my foundation shade. We'll be going in with the NARS Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau. So swatches are very important because it helps your makeup be buildable when it comes to blending out your foundation. And I know for the ones who are probably new to makeup, you guys are like, uh, that foundation look like it don't match your original skin tone. So a lot of people have hyperpigmentation spots. Some people will have a darker neck. Some people will have a darker face. Your main thing is to be looking at the person's chest. So if I would have went in with the foundation that actually matched her face which was darker it would have made it look like her face was darker and her body was lighter so to avoid that just make sure that you match the client's chest Just to tell you guys a little about myself and my inside of Lachey Slams, I do around 10 to 15 girls a day, y'all. A day. So sometimes it can get a little boring with doing the same techniques, the same formats. So there is no exact way how Lachey Glams do makeup. I like to switch it around a little bit and just have fun with makeup. Because makeup is art and it's beauty and it's just fun. So first, I know a lot of people say, hey, this is a different format for Lachey, okay? But this format is only to show you guys that blending is key. And you guys will see throughout this process of how some of the stuff will look a little overwhelming to people that use less or never did this format before, but it only will show you guys that blending is key when it comes to makeup. So for her contour, I went in with the Infallible Wear Concealer. You guys can use concealer as contours, yes, because it's still a cream. So your contour shade should at least be two shades darker than the original skin tone. That will just chisel up the face and snatch your features. So today we'll be using the Infallible Wear Concealer in the shade Espresso. The concealer we'll be using today to highlight her face will be the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. So concealer is supposed to be at least two to three shades lighter than the original skin tone. So before we blend out everything, I love to go in and set my client's face with a Milani Make It Last Spray. I over love doing this because it honestly helps blend out everything like butter. 
and it also helps from your products drying down too fast if you do let it sit. And also, the key to this is I'm using the same foundation brush that I used for her. And also, I still have a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand. So just so I can avoid anything being too light and to keep her tone, her exact tone, I'm going in with another full coverage outlet, which is the foundation brush that you use. So that also helps blend out the edges of everything so it can come together. So this part is very self-explanatory and I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy this moment. I wanted to bring a little bit more pop and I wanted to add a little bit more brightness underneath her eye just to give the eye another lift. We'll be going with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and a shade of Vanilla. And also to blend that out, make sure you damp your beauty blender and just do patting motions just so that concealer can stay in spot and also appear light. The setting powder we'll be using today will highlight her under eye and also keep it very full coverage. We'll be using a Huda Beauty setting powder, which is one of my favorites right now. It's also sweat proof. So if your eyes get watery, it will help the clients out and won't leave a bad wear. It's very long lasting. This is in the shade Blondie. And I'm just setting the areas where we conceal that and also keeping those areas brightened. Then for the rest of her face, We'll be going in with the Sasha Buttercup in the shade Banana. This will also set the remaining of her face just to avoid any makeup transfer and also to have the face blended all together and long lasting. Now it's time to bring some color back into her face. So you'll be going in with your bronzers. This is the Morphe bronzer in the shade Trailblazer. And as you guys can see, I was scrubbing that pan. Like I said, get as much as product as you can onto those brushes just to make every step pop.
I'm sorry, y'all. This palette is eight up, okay? This palette ate up. But this is the Morphe 8D palette. And I'm going in with that orange and that pinkish tone blush just to bring some more chisel into the face. And if you guys know Lachey, you know I'm obsessed with blush. So obsessed. But the reason I go a little bit more heavy-handed is because we will be blending a lot of powders. It will be blended all the way. And sometimes when you're going with a little bit too less, you're not making it pop. You're honestly pushing away everything that you try to do so just make sure you go a little bit heavy-handed with contour and blush because we will be blending later on Now it's time to bake and we'll be setting and snatching those features. I would like to set on the sides of the bridge of her nose and also under her cheekbones just to give that snatch look. Off camera, I winged out her inner cat eye liner and I went in with the Ink Lock Gel Liner. And I love Ink Lock. You guys can get it from Amazon. I will put it down in the description box below. And I also went in with her same shadow shade, which is the brown shade right under that um, black liner just to smoke it out a little bit more. Right here, you guys see me going back in with that e.l.f. gel liner just to make everything precise and sharp. Keep that under eye brighten. I'm going in with an even brighter setting powder just for only the under eyes in the corner. And this will be the Derma Blend Translucent Powder. And it honestly just keeps that under eye bright and full coverage. Right after, we'll be getting ready for the lips. I'm going in with the dark brown lip liner from Ruby Kisses. You guys can get it from the hair store. Now I'll be going in with a nude liquid lipstick and a shade Virgin for Morphe. And I'll be popping on some white concealer in the center, just blending away, because I want that nude to be a little bit more lighter. And then I'll just be popping on a hair store gloss by Broadway, and it's only $2, y'all. And I love this lip combo. And honestly, some people, I get why some people gatekeep certain things. Because honestly, when I put y'all onto certain things, they always sell out. I can no longer find the Murphy palettes. I can no longer find the lip combos. I have to switch it up. But one thing about me, I still love to put people on. But I get why some people gatekeep. Because y'all be running up them stores, y'all. Y'all have to save some for us, okay?
We'll be using two shades of that Studio Fix by MAC Press Powders. We'll be going in with the NC50 and NW45. NW45 is her original skin tone. This will help bring the skin together, make it more of herself, and also so it can be smooth and long lasting. For underneath her eye, we have to complement that bright under eye with a bright press powder. So we'll be going in with the NC50 and I over love how it came along and how it's just, it just, she was given. The baking process is my favorite process, but also blending it away because you're seeing what all that work caused and how good it's coming together. And she just was giving y'all, I loved it. Set her face, we'll be going with the Morphe Mist Spray. And also, we'll be going with the One Size Spray for Long Lasting. And I also love this Double Spray Combo. It's a good combo for long lasting, y'all. I over love it. It sets in well, and it's just perfect. For the highlighter, we'll be going in with the Urban Decay Highlighter in the shade Cowboy. And I have to also rack up on this as well because this is my favorite highlighter at the time for my girls. It just gives this loose glitter dust. It gives that type of effect and it's so gorgeous. Rob babes, this is the finishing look, and she looks gorgeous. We turned off the lights, and y'all, she is beat down. If you guys love this tutorial, make sure you click the big thumbs up, and also click that notification bell so you can be the first to see when Evelyn Shea Glam's post. Also, drop a comment. Let me know how you love this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on all platforms at Lachey's Glam's. And tell a friend to tell a friend. This is the page where you learn all the gems. This is the page where we helping the girls out. Makeup is art. Makeup is beauty. I really hope you guys love this tutorial. If you guys want to see more things, make sure you just let me know. Also, I do one-on-one -on -one classes. You guys can come to Miami. Book your next one-on-one -on -one course. Invest into your business. If you want to be out here killing the girls. But we killed this look. I over loved it. Also, make sure you guys subscribe. Big subscribe. Let others know. Subscribe, subscribe. This is a motivational loving page and i welcome you all to the rob Ace family and i thank you guys so much Mwah. bye